and are we alone? You know, this is one of those questions that starts to become a matter of on what scale are you asking? Are you worried that there's little green men visiting our planet? Well, probably not. I, I don't think there's any valid evidence for visiting aliens from other worlds. But in the fullness of space, we probably only see at most 4% of the entire universe. And if we're the only intelligent life, well, to quote Carl Sagan, it's an awful waste of space. I was going to ask you about that uh, because um what do, doesn't that imply that a universe without humans is, is waste? Is, is well, wasteful? it's not just humans. It's, it's the ability of the chemical processes, the physical processes, and everything else to repeat at least one other time somewhere out there and create something of intelligence that is capable of escaping its own world and considering what is beyond its own atmosphere out there among the stars. So you think we're probably not alone? I, I think to say that we're alone is a conceit that uh, says that our universe is fine-tuned only to create our planet, and that, that kind of improbability is, is something that I'm uncomfortable with. Until you can have an existential crisis with another critter, I think you're alone. Really? Hmm. An existential crisis is your kind of like your criterion for detection of meaningful aliens. <laughs> I, I, I think so. I mean, if you think about it, you, you can still feel alone as you sit there with your carton of milk and your carton of yogurt, which are both teeming with life but you don't feel as alone. You still feel alone with your cat curled up in your lap, but it's when there's that other intelligence there that is able to say, are you okay? Or say, let's contemplate, are we alone? It's, it's that ability to move beyond the statement of I'm hungry that a parrot can utter and start being able to have a meaningful conversation that Aloneness is an emotion in many states. It's not asking, is there other intelligent life? It's asking for a connection. So if, if lo aloneness is an emotion, then there's no objective standard for, I guess, undoing that emotion. I, I think mean, evidence is not going to undo your aloneness. I, mean. I think there are certain questions where you start to need to get to the philosophers and the theologians, and are we alone is one of those that we can each have our own belief about. And that belief, I might say I'm completely alone in a big city where I don't speak the language. That's a statement people make. Or even if you do speak the language. It's true. So alone is one of those states of being that is separate from, is there life out there? Well, do you think this question, are we alone, is an important question? Yes. Why? It, it gets at, again, those 4 a.m. dialogues that we have that bring meaning to life that inspire that make us think beyond ourselves. These are the kinds of things that in many ways define our humanity, is our ability to think beyond how do I find my next meal to maybe I'll skip my next meal to find something of beauty. Now what you just said reminds me of Carl Sagan who said that we are the way the, un the universe has of finding out about itself, of becoming self-conscious. Do you agree with that? I, I, I think that's an interesting way to word it, and I've never thought if I agreed with it or not. Um, there, there's a certain arrogance in saying we are the way the universe finds out about itself rather than the more humble and the more consistent with the cosmological principle of we are part of the universe and a way that this part of the universe works at least, but again, with, with our present understanding of the observable universe, we see at most 4%, and, and so there's so much smallness in us. I go for the, uh, the universe is trying to kill us, and sometimes we're trying to kill each other, and perhaps the Fermi paradox is solved in rather depressing and violent yes. ways. Have you ever seen a UFO? 
Uh, I saw a hot air balloon that scared the bejesus out of me at night once. Um, it was very unidentified for a few terrifying moments. Oh, God.